Hello world, Wave Time here, bringing to you another episode of EE Power. So we've got our tree farm still going a bit. I've decided to try to light around the surrounding area a bit, but yeah, that's not gonna happen. So we're probably going to need to fence in the area instead, and that will probably be a lot safer on the sanity. So if we check over here, we got more than enough cargo in here. Now what I'm wondering is, okay, so doesn't actually go in if it can and it's probably getting lost a bit so the charcoal I'm talking about and actually we're now finally starting to produce charcoal so I might just be crazy that's probably just me so it's not going in and it's zipping out okay so that's good now what I'm actually going to pick up are a few saplings it looks like we can only go for two stacks though I think I'm going to ex Expediate that by just crafting up a bit of this and throwing in the bone meal so we have some fertilizer and we can now get one, two, three, four stacks of saplings. So what we'll do with this is throw them into our fertilization pool of um, horribleness and we can then get that. I hate. Did I say you could do that? No, I did not. So. What I'm trying to say is probably something that is not plain English. So, I'll just show you. Shove in all of the saplings that I can into here so that we can make some more stuff with the fermenter. So, all we should need to do is just a few minor modifications to this so that we get a nice little heat sink, so to speak. <laughs> biomass. Biomass is what we want, so that is what we're going to produce. So, biomass into the still to get biofuel, and then we'll be able to take that biofuel and make some combustion engines out of it. I think that is all we're going to need to do. So, if we place down our liquid ducts, move this torch, because frankly it's ugly, and connect that up and then just connect that we should get some biomass out of here now throw this down and it should be succinct and satisfactory so as you can tell there was that little uh, grass and not really a knoll but a carve or cleave in the cliff so what I did was I just picked a level and put smooth stone out it's not going to be natural but I doubt anyone is going to see it so well at least we won't be bombarded by creepers so what I think we're going to want to do is eventually take the output of this and throw them into some let's see some engines is going to be one of the uses and other things are definitely going to be useful as well so another thing that might help a bit is eh, that can probably be talked and expounded upon later so I don't think that's going to be necessary to do. So let's look. There are a few things we can probably do to improve upon this design. One thing I see is just maybe changing this for some redstone tubes so that once we have like, we can have the central conduit going down here. Sorry, liquid ducts. <laughs> it's funny. I call my uh, conduits ducts and my ducts conduits. Not ducts, but... You know what, I'm just going to shut up right now because evidently it is a little too much for me to speak normal vernacular syntax. And as you can tell, I am already messing that up, so I am going to shut up. Hmm, can't really do anything with smooth stone. I can turn this stuff into cobblestone, and that is probably a waste of transmutation. Anyway, so maybe eventually I'll want to have the liquid ducts going out like that instead, and then have that centralized. In fact, I think I'm going to do that right now. It's going to be a loss of a bit of biomass. In fact, let's just turn that off and we can can this stuff up instead. That will have a few added benefits, but it'll just not be as ugly. Now, I believe I had some cans somewhere, so let's click for cans and those are not cans. You're not cans. You are cans. Thank you. There we go. Now we can not worry about that and we can get a bit of our distillery going. So can this up 
and this stuff won't be outputting so all we have to do is wait for all of this biomass to exit then we can move all of this stuff now we still have the liquidux that's good and we are piped in well enough and we have our water so we're going to want to make another aqueous accumulator soon enough to get all of the required amount of stuff let's just get this before I lose my mind uh, just close this 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 and there and that is a bit more flush so if we get hmm, OCD is calling it wants its mind back so <laughs> Sorry for all those OCD people. I apologize. Don't know why I'm apologizing. But anyways, them's the rules. So, uh, let's get these liquid ducts out of the way for now. And break that. And we should just need to pull it out like that. And connect it like so instead. And then put it like that. And all that it will require is some redstone, which will gather... By let's uh, actually, now that I think of it, it's probably best if we get that like so. Redstone, and do we have any spare tubes? Yes, we do. We'll turn these automatically, or automagically, as I like to say. And then we can just replace these tubes. Oh, this is going to be fun. Mm. Dang it. And the saplings spewed out anyways because it's like that. So let's replace these like so. And I don't think there's any negative effects, but just in case, I'm going to do this. And all that we should need is some sort of lever, and it might be able to transmit. No, it cannot. Not like that, at least. If we were to do it, it might be this instead. Okay, so that should transmit no it's not huh ha you know what let's stop being technical shall we let's just do this the easy way since easy is obviously a bit better for our uh, longevity of mind there we go we can keep this going as needed though this is obviously not necessary so that does not connect there we might be able to tweak the design slightly but for now I think it is going to be useful we'll probably worry about that at a much later time since frankly it doesn't matter in fact another thing that shouldn't matter right now we'll just take that out so we don't have too much biofuel production while we are working on other fine designs so let's actually go into some more there's a creeper up there Let's go into some more technical stuff, shall we? So one thing I'm thinking would be a good idea would be maybe to tweak this so that we can get the smooth stone and also turn it into some other fine jewelry, such as, uh, let's see, hmm, that might work. It might be a little convoluted, but I'm thinking... If you're thinking what I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're thinking. Okay, so if we make a filter, this should be a bit more uh, easy to understand. So if we get our filter out, we can get it. So filter, good. We got our relay. We got a bit of extra cobblestone because whatever. And we are going to want the relay. Now what we're going to want to also make is a packager. Packager will be able to make some fun stuff, and fun stuff is frankly fun. So, first of all, we obviously have the pistons that we need into this in this design. We should have enough cobblestone, though I'm not too sure on that. So just getting a bit of extra cobblestone stone should be good. And also gathering a bit of wood, because wouldn't you know it, it might be necessary. So let's see, packager will require piston and etc. So if we make uh, extra stuff like that, we'll be able to make the two crafting benches that should be required. So one of the first things we'll make is a craft packet stamper and then combine it with a craft packet maker. And I think it's either this or the other way. There's not too many other 
methods on doing it. There we go. We got a packager. So if we place the packager, uh, let's take that off. Okay, so Relay will take and put the smooth stone in. Can probably make it a lot better, but this is best for compactness and lack of spillage. So lack of spillage is nice, and we'll get that very easily by just combining into something like this and get that. Okay, so here we go. Place that down. If we place the filter like so. And by the way, this is all off the top of my head, so I don't know if it's going to work. Uh, let's get this extra room. We'll just want to have the packager here and the relay here and not actually there. Maybe in a place that will work. There we go. So it's possible, but what will happen is that the cobblestone will go into there. The furnace will just be awesome and all that and throw it up. Burning skeletons. And that's assuming that it's actually going to go into the furnace again because it might be necessary to have it on the right slot. It's this stuff that we don't want. And then we got the stone here. Stone's not going in the right slot, so that is causing a bit of issues. And it's only the side, I think, that it can pull from. So that does cause a few issues problems and there we got some stuff that is stuck so let's get our stuff again and this stuff obviously doesn't work so we'll just take our relay off for now hmm if we have it such that the items will go into this like so uh, if only I had that not on right now that would be useful thanks and we can dispos deposit our extra smooth stone for now so that we don't get anything too hasty. The main thing is that we're going to want the tube to go in here. So we need to have the filter kind of odd in area. So if we have the filter, no, hmm. we need to pull stuff out of the packager. The packager is the key ingredient in all of this. So if we have it like so can have it going like that and thus what we will need to do is have the filter pulling out so pulling out would mean that it needs to go here so that will mean we need a cover there and once we have the cover we should be a bit better a few covers actually so if we pull out our diamond hand saw which should be in our tools test which is not here, if I do remember. The whole point of... Did I even make a diamond handsaw yet? I must have, for the wafers. Or it probably was lost when I had that little kerfluffle. So, since... Nah, it was my fault that I... Somehow, I'm sure it was my fault that I managed to lose the data. So, I guess I will make another one so let's make another one quickly a diamond handsaw which will require a bit of wood obviously can't go wrong and then we'll just get this like so iron and diamonds will make the diamond handsaw so with this we'll then I think going with a fancy block we'll just go with a bit of smooth stone and then some diamond, or rather some covers will be nice. Okay, so covers will need to go here and here and probably here. So place, 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 place. And that should give us stone bricks. So if we open up this area for some management, we'll be able to manage all of that. I think we'll just hurry up the process by throwing in an entire stack. It'll go in and get taken out by the filter. Can I please not hop around? Thanks. There we go. And then automatically make the stone bricks. 
I think that is definitely an easy enough method to do it and maybe we can also at the same time since there is this stone brick line we can then simplify the next part by uh, let's see that'll be easy if we make another filter if we have the required stuff for the filter that is gold yes check cobblestone check we can make the filter again and we can make the other materials that will be necessary. Ah, there's no room. No room, gosh dang it. Ah, sigh. There we go. So two of these, once again. And we'll need those there. And in general, we'll need these. So let's put them. Actually, there's a few of them. So one. Mm. Sigh, give me a break two even more of a worse break thing ah and three here we go uh, this might be necessary so we'll put the saplings there instead and we need to have this stuff going out such like this and if we have the stone covers here be able to put another barrel here which is going to be a bit better than what we have right now. There we go, and a barrel. This will be for circle stone bricks. Once we get that piped in, we'll have this here and we'll have that there. And if we just have a simple tube going up here, and then we have the filter going here, and nothing will go that is a transposer not a filter and it seems like we're raining and where is my filter then filter is there I wonder how it got there so I guess it doesn't really matter too much uh, turn this around there we go and we will need this here and this here and then finally you can get this here so obviously it's not going to be an even distribution. It'll f start with the circle stone bricks, but it should be a fast enough process. It seems like we're not getting the energy reserves that we need because all of the processes are taking a bit of a drain on the system. And also we're going to need to get energy, which is a nice segue because we're going to work on a bit better of energy now. Ach! Sorry, uh, Panda made me sneeze. Anyway, so I hollowed out this, uh, Zycraft tank. It's pretty huge, but I think it should do its job. Now that I think of it, there's a minor modification that I need to do. I just need to swiftly get out this bit of cobblestone. So this tank was a little difficult to make in the fact that, A, it stretched out a little far, and B... Most important thing is dirt sucks. There was one piece of gravel up there at the edge that didn't let me complete the multi-block. Anyways, right click and we got a tank that can hold only mm, 8,960 buckets. That's all. So now that we have that, we can connect this stuff and we're going to bring it over so that it can connect easily enough. So let's gather some of this liquid ducts and get some of this stuff over here. Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to need to pick up any more of those. So let's just quickly gather a few more liquid ducts. So I'm thinking we'll have this uh, classily. Classily? Is classily even a word? Eh, classy enough for me. Anyways, we'll bring this down in a classy fashion. I think that will be the best way to characterize it. And then just bring it like so. One, two, three. And then around she goes. Like so. And of course I cannot get out in any sort of instance of time. And there we go. So this should be hooked up. We just need to right click that. And once we get a lever down and flip it, we should have it. Now, I did uh, 
cover up this system and it definitely looks very nice I like to say um, also there will be some issues in the future when say this packager gets clogged up and doesn't allow any sort of redstone signal because basically how the packager I believe it's called works and operates is that every time it stamps something it sends out redstone pulse so that's the thing that actually uses calls the filter to pull this stuff out of it's not actually any sort of automatic ejectal ejectal yay so what I did was simply added a button that should automatically pull stuff from the filter I say should because I'm not too sure if it's actually working now but I suppose what I could do is put it directly on the filter though that's no fun uh, as long as I don't have to do it anytime anyways it's also on this filter right here so it should do the same thing that's just in case I need a manual reset of any sort but we definitely have enough glass and the fact that it's connected textures makes this thing a lot more classy so what I think I'm gonna do right now is uh, temporarily destroy this so that I can add another valve block the reason we want to do this is so that we can more easily remove the liquid once we actually have some stuff in there so just quickly like that right click and now it's able to share stuff so we can it's take this stuff out and there we go and a quick thing that I want to do is if we destroy it once again I know I am a cruel person and do this making sure there's no suicide shrubs we can get some glass over here and I say glass over here as well and if we put it artistically like so should be able to have it peek out oh my gosh that was a creeper hello you are in a bad spot oh no 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 you don't I do not want any more help with my tank you suck okay how did I know that was gonna happen I don't know I'm psychic or something I'm not way of thom, I'm way of time, so I shouldn't have psychic powers of annoying the hell out of me. No, that's what the creeper's powers are. Anyways, just putting a quick path in like so will make it at least look a bit more classy in nature. Of course, we're going to have to do a bit more like this, but I think I'm going a little too artistic in how I'm building things and should probably just stop while I'm at okay OCD is calling it wants its sanity back which obviously is not going to happen anytime soon okay you are done click done there we go we got some light in there and 10 buckets of biofuel obviously it's going to continue a bit more cans and let's just put the cans into here instead and the cans have been consumed perfect probably could have used better methods on doing the same thing but I guess I can't complain too much well I suppose I can but that's a little I am seriously digressing right now aren't I yes yes I am so what we're going to need to do is put our fuel where our mouths are which gets very dirty very quickly and then connect this up as it is necessary so what I'm thinking is just a row of engines which will require a water supply which will probably come from an aqueous accumulator that's at the back I'm not too sure how many aqueous accumulators or rather uh, how many engines can be run off of one aqueous accumulator but I'm sure we are going to find out somehow very 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 creatively so if we remove this as well we can put this here and I'm supposing nope not possible okay just wrench that into place and we are good enough for me I'm thinking so just let's grab a few more of these so that we are nice and complete and we are going to want to make 
one of those uh, aqueous accumulators soonish. So let's actually make it nowish. So servo motor. Let's hope that we don't get the pain in the arse recipe this time. This redstone and glass. You need to be switched around, don't you? Yes, you're a pain in the arse. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay, tin, glass, frame, empty bucket, and we should be good. So, glass, and now we need to get the frame, which I think I have one left, and we might as well make two of them. I suppose it will be worthwhile to make two of them, so let's make another bucket quickly. A servo motor, I think it's the right configuration this time. Yes, it is. And then once we place them in the correct slots, we can get our awesomeness to be incarnated right straight in front of us. There we go. Aqueous accumulators. We'll probably only want one in the meantime, but let's make another bucket so things are a bit faster than it normally is. So there we go. Aqueous accumulator, we're going to need to put this in the back and we'll have the fuel go at the top and the liquid go in the back. That should be a good enough method of getting stuff. So if we have water here, we're going to obviously need to get the water from there. Which will just require, mm, if we have another one there, maybe we can put it here. Okay. So that means we will need to have the stuff going like that. And this will require water there and water beside it. So water in the wrong place, of course. That's how I roll. Water there. Aqueous accumulator. Rotate. I said rotate. Annoyance powers activate. Let's go over here, I suppose, since that is going to be a bit better. Blah. Blah. And blah, blah. How many torches does I knock down? None? Wow. That was amazing. Okay, so now that we got that, we can get some liquid to go in our ducts. Like so, and we got water. So now that we have water, we can just throw this up here as well. This will give our fuel. Obviously, we're not going to need that many things for fuel, so it will be an easy enough endeavor to do. Let's just eat a bit and see how much energy we currently have in our reserves. Apparently, the number is Zilch, Zippo, and... Swahili or something like that. I have no clue, but we got 22 buckets. There must be more coming out. Oh, the lever wasn't flipped. Derp, derp, derpy derp. So I'm thinking the unna the natural lighting is maybe not enough. We're going to need more, especially in the night hours, but I suppose this is fine for now, and we can probably go with the conductive piping. That will be the easiest thing to currently do, although in the future it will be good to get some actual energy conduits going. Energy conduits will be not as explodey. Oh, look, liquiduct. Be not as explodey and thus be a bit better. Now, speaking of a bit better, let's get rid of some of our cobblestone. We seem to be good in the bricking department, so that is good. Let's remove this button and put it here instead. Haha, -ha, that works. Okay, much, much better. It will power right below it instead. And I think that is much, well, better. So, we're going to need to, uh, let's just go whole hog and get a bunch of gears. Because, hey, why not? Wooden gears, 19. Hey, 24, why not? And we'll go and reinstate our cobblestone-ness. Don't worry, I'm not this stone normally. And also this gravel, I think, can go into here. So that we can get a bit more flint. And hey, we already have so few energy. Might as well just be a bit less and be done with it. So, six engines, I think, is what we're going to go for. 
So we'll make a bunch of these. We'll need to go with some pistons, some glass, and obviously an iron top, which we might not actually have enough iron for. Oh, crud, yay. Uh, that could be a problem if we are lacking in iron. Let's see, no iron there. And not enough iron here, so that only leads me to transmutation. Do we have a uh, gold? Yes, we do. Let's transmute some of this. Let's see, six engines, we need a total of 18. We already have some, so it only requires two of these. And then we'll have enough iron for everything. There we go. Calculations are awesome. So, now that this is pretty much done, let's put one of these here. And rotate it around down. Apparently not, because that it would be too easy. And to rotate it down, we're also going to need conductive pipes. How many conductive pipes do we currently have a hold of? Apparently zilch. And we only have that many wooden pipes so, and golden pipes, so there's no point in that. Let's just make some of that and some wooden ones as well. And all we'll need to do afterwards is gather some of the remaining redstone dust that we have. I think it's in... No, it's in here. Good. And we had three iron into there. In there, rather. So that will be useful once we get that going. Okay. Transport pipes transported over here. And then once we get our conductive pipes down, we should be good for some general testing of energiness. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Rotate. Good. Now we got water, and let's put some more in. So we can get the water at least in them. They won't be producing anything as of yet, but that is okay. So, I'd love to have gates on this, but that can't happen currently, but it will soon enough. Okay, how much? We have 24. Let's fuel these up. They won't be full, sure, but they will be enough to speed this along to a much better amount, and that is definitely worth it. So, we have no levers currently, and that is getting drained more of a buffer system than anything. I don't think we're going to be using as much fuel as we are currently, well, not currently outputting, but will eventually output, so we should be good. Should definitely be good. Um, six levers. Yeah, six. actually, six levers is a perfect amount if we actually have some cobblestone, which I suppose would be useful in a variety of circumstances. So, let's place our levers down. Because it's always good of them to be in the way that I want them to be. There we go. Okay. How much will this actually output on the other hand? I'm not too sure. So let's turn it on. Five Minecraft jewels per tick. And these also. So we'll have to look at their power consumption as well as their power output see if it's actually too much for the system to handle. I don't think it, the extra 15 Minecraft jewels will be enough to accelerate this uh, system too much past the re point of reason. So I think we should be good. The only thing that will be varied is actually the water intake. That is only going to be the only real limiting factor currently. Well, obviously, there's going to be the other limiting factor of the fuel. But it's definitely producing it at a good enough rate for me. How much are you actually producing? Let's check. We'll leave it on for approximately a minute. But we are definitely good. Now, let's see. Haven't actually been out here recently. So we should probably check out how our farm is doing. I still haven't actually put down those stakes to our adventure of awesomeness, so we might as well get, uh, do we have a bow? Bow, bow, bow. 
attack stuff. Here we go. Not the best bow. We should have a power bow. Here we are. Here we are. And our transport stuff, let's put this stuff in. There we go. Fire! Okay, now that we are armed, let's go out. Make sure we catch the skeleton, which is going to be a pain, I'm sure, soon. Fancy pants, mon pants, and get the creeper as well, which doesn't seem to like me for some reason. Okay, so I'm guessing we have enough wood. 10 stacks and 11 stacks of charcoal. That's definitely enough for my taste, and we are not running on any sort of deficits, and the fact that, hmm, I don't know. I got enough wood. Let's just say it that. Though we definitely have enough saplings as well. And the apples are an added benefit. And I see another skeleton. Which I don't think I want to say hi to. So I think I'll leave it at that. And our hemp is also equally wilted. So there's no point really in checking that. Okay. Good enough fuel production. Not too sure, though. We're not limiting in the fact of biomass. In fact, it doesn't seem like it's going anywhere, so to speak. Hmm. No new saplings have went out, really. Though that should... Okay, there we go. Hmm. Let's place these as well. They won't be on yet, but at least we'll get them situated. And it might be a good use for the other aqueous accumulator once we get that hooked up into the system. Now, I'm wondering if it maybe you can hook them all up to the same aqueous accumulator because I doubt that is going to really affect it too much whether it's on one aqueous accumulator or two because it's not the speed of the water transit that's the problem with aqueous accumulators it's actually the accumulation of said stuff and of course you think with sorted chests I would know where my junk is, but you would probably be wrong. So let's combine this, not that, uh, there and there. And we'll water out the stuff and we should be good. So this should provide us with enough power to sustain operation at least temporarily. It will obviously, well, more than obviously, be a while before we can determine whether it's actually in any sort of good working order though time permitting we should have a fair representation of everything this fermenter seems to be going fast enough though and now that this is actually consuming water because it's green and oh of course I had to do that I had to flip the lever. So now, because of my flipping the leverness, it has to go through down the entire cooldown cycle until it goes to zero degrees Celsius. Thankfully, not zero degrees Kelvin, because that would take a lot longer. But at least we should be well off for now. I'm hoping that eventually we can get this Zycraft tank to its fullest potential, maybe put it out a bit farther, but I'd be interested in how it looks from the outside. Let's check that. And dropping. There we go. Eh. Well, what am I supposed to see, really? It's just a tank peeking out. Now, what I'm hoping is eventually making sure there are no suicide creepers. You know, saying suicide creepers is kind of redundant. So I'll just say suiciders. Anyways, now that there aren't any terrorists, um... <sighs> and I have lost track of my Sandy. So, pretty much, I'm hoping that I can make it into bricks. So, some marble bricks should be a lot um, more nice, I'm sure. It'll take a while before we can get to that stage. Well, considering we have a lot of marble out there, maybe I can slowly carve out the chunk from the marble. It shouldn't be too bad though it does stretch for a bit maybe I can find some other marble mine because this one here I would rather keep as it is then again since it's so much I guess I can just be very 
careful. Maybe in the future use a wall of equal trade. You are really annoying, and I think I am going to run away from you before you manage to ninja me into the lava, which is somewhat of a double-edged sword, seeing as I actually threw three creepers into them recently. Anyways, let's go back in. So it seems like I went a little overboard in this episode. I apologize for giving too much content. So... <laughs> It looks like that we still have a bit of improvement for this in the future. I'm thinking maybe we can get some sort of better way to get everything so modularized. Maybe we can get some sort of in-series or parallel energy cell structure, though that little battery seems like it's holding up well enough. I'm sure there will be some improvements that we can see in the future, but let's focus on filling this thing up. Dang you! Well, that's all the time we have for this episode of EE Power. If you like what you see, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to future episodes. Wave time here. Signing off. Have a wonderful day.